We are on top of breaking news right now on WFMY News 2 at 6. We are learning new details about an insider trading investigation involving Senator Richard Burr. Court documents show the Securities and Exchange Commission is looking into Burr and his brother-in-law's stock trades at the beginning of the pandemic. Two wants to know is Ben Briscoe just got a hold of new documents connected to this case. The Securities and Exchange Commission filed 71 pages of claims in federal court that Burr had material non-public information regarding the incoming impact economically of coronavirus. The SEC says it's investigating if Burr illegally used that information to sell stocks on February 13th of 2020. According to the documents, the SEC is also investigating if Burr tipped off his brother-in-law, Jared Farth, now, they write on February 13th, 2020, immediately after he spoke to Senator Burr on the phone and immediately after Senator Burr had directed his own broker to liquidate his own joint IRA pro, uh, portfolio, the brother-in-law appears to have directed the sale of several stocks. According to the court documents, Burr and his brother-in-law talked for about 50 seconds, and then within one minute of hanging up, the brother-in-law called his broker. I reached out to Burr's office for comment about an hour ago when we first got these court documents. We haven't heard back yet. It's important to note that this investigation is being done by the Securities and Exchange Commission. There was a separate investigation into possible insider trading done by the Department of Justice under former President Donald Trump. Now, early this year, after President Biden took over, the DOJ ended that investigation. Senator Burr issued a statement back then saying, the Department of Justice informed me that it has concluded its review of my personal finance transactions conducted early last year. The case is now closed. I'm glad to hear it. My focus has been and will continue to be working for the people of North Carolina during this difficult time for our nation. This new Securities and Exchange Commission investigation is a developing story. We'll keep you updated on WFMYNews2.com when we learn more.